Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Chemistry. In this video, we will learn structure and bonding in pyrrole. Pyrrole is a five-membered unsaturated heterocyclic compound. What is meant by unsaturated? Unsaturated means the compound in which there are double bond and triple bonds are present. And heterocyclic compound means there is a presence of heteroatom such as nitrogen, oxygen and sulfur. Thus a pyrrole has four carbon atoms and one nitrogen atom in the ring. There are two double bonds between four carbon atoms. In addition to that, a nitrogen atom has a lone pair of electrons which participates in delocalization. Delocalization means the electrons including a lone pair of electrons and the pi electrons can revolve around the whole structure. It shows aromatic character. Its molecular formula is C4H5N. Molecular weight is 67 and due to the presence of intermolecular hydrogen bonding in pyrrole, it has relatively higher boiling point as compared to other 5-membered heterocyclic aromatic compounds such as furan and theophene. Now let's understand the structure and aromaticity of pyrrole. As we can see, a pyrrole is a cyclic secondary amine with a conjugated diene. Conjugated diene means there is a presence of alternate double bonds between carbon atoms. These double bonds are conjugated with the lone pair of electrons on the heteroatom, that is the nitrogen atom. Thus we can say that there are total 6 electrons are involved in resonance. Now according to Huckel's rule, an unsaturated cyclic compound will be aromatic if there are total 4n plus 2 pi electrons which are involved in resonance. Here we can see that there are 4 pi electrons and 2 non-bonding electrons. So total 6 electrons are present. And these 6 pi electrons are in single plane and they are conjugated. That is they together revolve around the whole structure. Hence we can say that pyrrol satisfies Huckel rule for n is equal to 1. That is total 6 electrons and hence pyrrol is aromatic in nature. Being aromatic rather than undergoing addition reactions, it undergoes electrophilic substitution reactions. This aromaticity of pyrrol can be explained on the basis of its orbital structures. In pyrrol, all the atoms are sp2 hybridized including the heteroatom that is 4 carbon atoms and 1 nitrogen atom all are sp2 hybridized. Two sp2 orbitals of each atom are utilized to form sigma bonds between two carbon atoms on the either side and also with the heteroatom. This results in a 5 membered planar ring. The third sp2 orbital forms a sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen and in case of heteroatom that is between nitrogen and hydrogen. Now each carbon atom also has a p orbital with one electron and the heteroatom has a p orbital with a pair of electrons. These p orbitals are perpendicular to the ring and they overlap to form pi bonds. Due to continuous overlap of p orbitals, a delocalized circular cloud of 6 pi electrons is formed above and below the plane of the ring. This constitutes the structure of pyrrole. In terms of valence bond description, the pyrrole molecule can be imagined as resonance hybrid of the following contributing structures. It's very important to draw the resonating structures of the pyrrole. Now how to draw it? Let's understand. For example, this is the structure of pyrrole. Here a nitrogen atom has a lone pair of electron. To draw the resonating structures, these lone pair of electrons will attack on the neighboring bond and that is how a double bond is formed. As soon as this double bond is formed, the neighboring pi electrons move to the next carbon atom and that is how a negative charge is developed on the neighboring carbon atom. The other double bond remains as it is. Now to draw the next resonating structure, this negative charge that is the pair of electrons attack and that is how a double bond is formed. As soon as this double bond is formed, the next double bond gets converted into a negative charge. The other double bond remains as it is. And in the similar fashion, the next resonating structures are also formed. In case of pyrrole, we can see that there are total 5 atoms, that is total 4 carbon atoms and 1 heteroatom. 
Therefore, we should get total 5 resonating structures. At the end of the fifth structure, if we repeat the procedure, we will get the first structure itself. So, these are total 5 resonating structures which contribute to the aromaticity of the pyrrole. The pyrrole molecule has aromatic character. It is proved by the fact that due to relocalization of pi electrons, the bond length in pyrrol are intermediate of normal single and double bond lengths. This is the evidence for the resonating structures of pyrrol. I hope you have followed the structure and bonding in pyrrol. If you like my video, click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. If you want to ask something, mention it in the comment box. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos. And keep watching Engineering Chemistry. Thank you.